Hello, this is Lady M, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Stanley Parable. So, just to kind of recap, um, I have never played this game until I started this Let's Play, so I've been learning things along the way, and one of the things I've learned is this game um, doesn't really end. There are endings within the game, and in episode one we had the confusion ending because we sort of took some different different roads places um, and in episode two we sort of ended up in a place um, I pushed a button and we blew up so kind of what we're gonna do is we'll continue to play and we'll try different things because I kinda like to do um, different things I don't always like to make the you know right choices and uh, we'll see where we end up this time all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps so he now we know memo. it always starts the same way we're going to a meeting room kind of know where that is now when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered so. the door on his left they always want us to enter on the left and we did that last time so we'll do it again but maybe we'll make some different choices this time but we'll uh... we'll start this is where Yet we were there before was not a single person here either feeling a wave of disbelief Stanley decided Tips to go not up to fired. his boss's office Don't get fired. he might find an answer there Okay. oh yes the boss's office the boss has pretty cool office by the way Coming to a staircase, hmm. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. How about we go downstairs? See what's down here. But Stanley Cigar? just couldn't do it. He no. considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers <laughs> blinking mysteriously out of existence in a We're going in circles for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close well, automatically true. behind him wherever he went? And that's true. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yes, were we are walking repeating? in circles. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, how cool! Then he imagined himself huh. soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun. Oh my and gosh! And marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? That's true. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Hmm. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, 
He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice yeah, explain that all that? Pretty cool. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press huh. of the mattress Wonder on his what back. what we're going to do now. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Are we sleeping? Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Or not. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Hmm, trying to convince himself. I am okay. Is he okay? We're going to wake up. And we're still here. It's not a dream. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be You're real, Stanley. You're real, Stanley. You're real, Stanley. And everything went black. It did. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Mariella? She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Well, this is but different. on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed <gasps> Oh, that's the Stanley! And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look he like. He looks like Flat and Stanley. Moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Wow. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The oh, very but she didn't stick around very long whose then. Whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. And what happened to Stanley? See, I don't know any of this. Oh, we're starting over. Okay. Well, I guess this is a good place to end this episode. The story ended. Um, I don't know what we call that one. It was a dream, and then he's kind of dead. Anyway, this is a good place to stop, and thank you for watching, and please uh, join me later to continue our adventure of the Stanley Parable. Bye!